Hi guys. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick install uh, on, a, on a wall. Um, you can always hire us to come in and install it for you. But if you want to do it yourself, um, I'll just show you a quick way to do that. So, first thing you want to do is just make sure the wall is nice and smooth. No bumps or uh, little flakes or anything hanging on the wall. So what you want to do is just get a little scraper or some sandpaper. And just make sure the whole wall is nice and smooth. Scrape off the little bumps. Then the next thing you want to do is take your roll, lay it down, make sure you got the top. Fold about five inches off the top. Fold the wax paper down. have a nice little flap to pull down once you get it up on the wall. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is take your top bit and just sort of line it up to the ceiling. Once you get a flush to the top here, then you just have to pull down on the back. Start pulling the paper off. And as you pull the back off, just use your hands to smooth it on. Any bubbles or anything, you can just pull it off and push it back on. from the inside out so you just get all the bubbles out. There, that's your wall. Wall one. Alright, so now that we have half the wall done, it's uh, pretty much the identical process. So we'll just take the other half. Lay it down, do the same thing. Make sure it's the top. Pull off the wax paper about six inches. Alright, so once you get it square on the top, you just want to pull off some more of the paper and then just line it up on this side. Make sure it's lining up there. And then Um, 
you want to do is just go over with a soft felt squeegee or something. And just make sure you've got all the bubbles out. Alright, so now we've applied the second part of the wall. Um, pretty much got all the air bubbles out. And so now, as you can see, I gave it about a one inch overlap. So you can either leave it like this, it lines up pretty well. But if you want to get the best effect, and you want to take a ruler and you just want to cut right in the middle through both layers, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I just got a ruler and a uh, brand new blade, so it's extra sharp. Then you want to just put the ruler about a quarter inch, sorry, half inch in the middle, pretty much right in the middle of the overlap. And then you just want to hold it and you want to make sure you cut all the way through both layers. Keep your knife nice and straight. So you want to pull off the top, and if you want to get really crazy, you can lift it up. And just pull off the second layer as well. Just make sure you cut cleanly through both layers, or else it might fray. Alright, and then once that's done, you just want to take your squeegee. And Then what you want to do is just trim off the uh, excess and then just push it on or stick it behind or whatever you got to do. Alright, then the last thing you want to do is just trim off any extra wheel that kicking around. So put your knife in the corner. And there you go, Joan Bennett.